Happy New Year to ya. Happy New Year to ya. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. This is 2021, and you are watching Jazzy Green Decor Style. I'm glad to have you guys. I am back. I took a little time off, and it wasn't very long. I said I was going to be gone probably about two weeks, but I did say or before. So I decided to come back because I missed you guys. I really did. I was watching your videos, and I was like, oh, man, I got to come back. <laughs> I just wanted to take a little time off so I'm glad to be back and um, today and I'm pretty sure you saw the title I have a New Year's tag for 2020 you could put 2020 or 2021 I saw this tag done by Perth and Soul he does candle reviews so if you're ever interested in knowing about the latest um, Bath and Body Works candles the Yankee candles or just candles in general, check out Sean's channel. He does some very excellent reviews and he also does tags. So this is where I got this from. I'll have his channel linked down in my description box. So you guys check out his tag and check out his channel, get some good reviews. So anyway, there are approximately 16 questions. So let's get started. What was the single best thing that happened this past year of 2020 hmm so probably when they gave out the stimulus check you know the first one so that was good I was very thankful to get that I'm pretty sure you guys were too because it does help you know it helped anyway number two what was the single most challenging thing that happened Probably when this pandemic started, this disease. Uh, I won't mention the name, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I have to say that was the most challenging. You know, all that goes with it, you know, having to be patient and social distance, you know, trying to be patient with people when you go into the stores and just not to worry um, about Who's going to get it? Who's not going to get it? You know what I mean? I'm talking about of your family. Uh, just your mind racing and wondering and thoughts coming to your mind. So number three, what was an unexpected, what was an unexpected joy this past year? Let me make sure I read that right. Number three, what was an unexpected joy? joy this past year hmm well not too much um, unexpected like I said before I'm just gonna say the uh, stimulus check that was unexpected um, you know for them to even consider it giving it to us so I was very happy to get that so, number four pick three words to describe this past year Woo. Uh, very sad, um, very challenging, and very trying. You know, I could think of a lot more words. I really could. I gotta see. <laughs> okay, number five. What was what was your biggest personal? change from yeah what was your biggest personal change from January to December of this past year probably and you know there could be more things than that but probably trying and learning to be consistent being consistent with everything that I do everything that I did everything that I needed to do um, being con persistent, no, consistent, yeah. Being consistent was challenging. It really was uh, personally for me in a lot of aspects. Um, with weight loss, that's another chapter right there. Um, Money-wise, uh, with family, relationships, things like that. Okay, number six. In what way or ways did you grow 
in your relationship or ships with others. Let me make sure I've read that right. In what way or ways did you grow in your relationships with others? To be honest with you, I can't say that in my relationships that I've grown, um, not to be negative or say anything bad. Um, you know, I have some challenges with some uh, people of my family, um, but I can't say there's been any growth. Um, I've continued to love them. Well, I'll just say that. I'm always gonna love my family and whoever else that, you know, I have a challenge with just, just to love, you know. Okay, seven, what was your best day or favorite thing you did this year? Ooh, wow, let me see. Waking up, just the fact that I wake up each and every day, that is a gift and a blessing in itself. I mean, there are so many little small things that I could probably mention, but to me, the best day of the year 2020 is just simply waking up to see a new day because guys tomorrow is not promised to us and i can give you one more uh, when me and my husband celebrated our 19th wedding anniversary that was special and nice and beautiful and of course this year we will be married 20 years Woohoo! i'm so excited and that's that'll be here in november so but i'm so excited about that to come number eight what was your single biggest time waster in your life this in your life this past year? To be honest with you, it's hard to answer that one, but I don't feel as if I've wasted time with anything. I, I really don't. I don't believe I've wasted any time. And if I have, I can't recall it right now. So number nine. What was the biggest thing you learned this past year? Okay. The biggest thing I've learned was to try to be patient with people out in the stores, out in businesses, patience. You know, what I mean is, you know, with this uh, pandemic going on, you have to go to the store and get groceries, take care of business, and because sometimes people can push your buttons in case you didn't know i'm pretty sure you do people can try you like i don't know what and i've had to really hold myself and and just exercise patience i mean i've had to rip my teeth sometimes because some people don't want to keep that social distance six feet apart and i'm very big on that uh I don't want you nowhere close up on me. It's like, excuse me, uh, do you mind getting back? Do you know that we have a six feet rule here? Now you may not care about that, but I do. So being patient is, and self-control, using self-control, patience and self-control. I tell you, that, that, that's been challenging for me. Number 10, will you be taking the inoculation and vaccine for this current pandemic? Well, 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 I really cannot say yes or no at the moment. I'm going to say I don't know. Uh, it's up in the air. I, I'm feeling like I don't want to. We'll see. Number 11, what do you hope for in 2021? Ooh, I hope for a lot of things. I hope to wake up the next morning for the whole entire year, number one. I hope for peace. I hope for this pandemic, and I believe it is going. It is gone. I believe it is, no matter what anybody else says. We're not going to always go through this situation, but I hope for peace. Uh, I hope for restoration. I hope for people that are ill now to be healed and be strong. I hope for this nation to get stronger. Um, I hope for prosperity for me and my family and for you who are watching. I hope for um, family members to mend their relationships. Um, I hope for increase financially, increase in my health, increase with everything. 
Um, I could go on and on and on with that question. On Number 12, do you have a New Year's resolution? No, I don't. I don't really believe in a resolution because those, you know, resolutions to me are temporary. You, you write a little resolution, you start it two months later, six months later, you don't do it anymore. So I don't believe in resolutions. I believe they are temporary. I do believe in setting goals though. That's what I believe in. So um, yes, I do have goals set. I write them down and the thing to do is to work towards the goal. Sometimes it's challenging, but number 13, do you have, oh, do you have any New Year's traditions? New Year's traditions. Um, the only traditions that I have, or tradition, um, not much. I don't really set goals for that. But we like to go and watch the Christmas lights uh, before New Year's. I guess that's Christmas uh, tradition. Um, so that probably doesn't answer the question, right? New Year's traditions, I'm going to say no. But... I gotta take down my Christmas decor. <laughs> so that would be it, yes. Taking down my Christmas decor, and sometimes I take it down the day before New Year's. Um, last year, which was 2020, um, I took it down, I took most of it down, maybe a few days after Christmas. And my son was like, oh man, you've taken down everything. It just doesn't look the same anymore. I mean, he, he wasn't that happy with me taking it down, but I, I just wasn't feeling it. Normally I keep everything up until New Year's Day and I did keep the tree up, but everything on the walls, <laughs> every other thing was pretty much packed away. Once I grabbed one thing, I found myself going back and back and putting other stuff in the bins. And before you know it, everything was packed away. <laughs> But I left the tree up to the first, then <laughs> it was gone. I mean, I had my husband taking ornaments off. I mean, we we're just like grabbing, 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 bam, put it in there. I mean, I was on a roll, okay? Number 14, we are almost done. Do you typically go out for New Year's Eve? No, I don't. Uh, I like to stay in. Um, call me a party pooper if you want I don't care but I'm more of a homebody I like to be safe at home um, I like to watch the New Year's uh, Eve uh, celebration uh, Times Square on the TV you know and um, just do whatever I want to do with my family here if we want to fix a certain meal have a cake baked or whatever if we choose to do um, if I want to listen to music, if I feel like dancing, I'll do that, you know, but I like to stay indoors because it's safer and I don't like all that shooting because we experienced that uh, this time. And we went out for uh, New Year's Eve just to see the lights and most of the lights were all gone. So, and all that shooting and I thought to myself, that wasn't a good choice. And I was the one that decided to go that day just to do something different. But um, now, nah, th they won't happen next year. Okay. 15, have you ever been to Times Square for New Year's Eve? No, I haven't. No, that sounds exciting, but I don't think I would like it. Uh, it's too many people, uh, things happen. I mean, I don't know, I guess I'm more into safety. I don't mind going into some types of groups, but not while this pandemic is going on, no way. Absolutely not. I wouldn't have gone anyway. And um, I just, I don't know, I just like to stay home pretty much. Call me homebody. Stay home and watch it on the TV. It's just better. It's safer. And the last question, 16, most memorable, uh, most memorable New Year's Eve. I really can't think of a most memorable. Probably when um, I think I was single then when all of my family we all got together um, got together and had lots of food and drinks different types of drinks and we had music. I think that was the most memorable and that was a long time ago. 
But anyway, that's all of the tag questions. I was so excited to participate in this. You know, I had to jump in. You know, people call me the queen of tags. So if that's the way it is, then that's who I am. But I just like doing them. They're just fun. Uh, it gives you a chance to get to know me a little bit better. Anyone can do this tag. So if you guys want to do it, just jump in. Just check the description box for the questions that I'll post there, okay? I want to give a big shout out to Stephanie from Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie. She changed my channel art and my intro and she did a wonderful job. And if you guys are interested, I'll have her information uh, down in my description box. So, and I'll see you next time. Bye.